Welcome, welcome. Uh, my name is Nicola. I'm the owner of NB Office Assist. And as the name says, I assist in the office. So as a virtual assistant, um, I'm bringing you, the small business owner that's struggling, all the tech tips and business tips, uh, emails, Xero, Canva, graphic design, to you via YouTube. Um, in easy, a bite size, really small snippets. This is my passion to support, support the small business owners, you guys that are struggling, that are consulting YouTube in the wee hours in the morning trying to find a solution to what should be a simple issue. Um, it's an easy fix from my end uh, and I'm hoping that it's going to be a big fix or a big bonus for you guys. Have a scroll through my videos, follow me, Follow me on my socials if YouTube isn't your thing. Everything's going to be shared over there as well. Let's get into our videos. Welcome back, everybody. Today, we're going to be touching on the new invoicing in Xero. So I've done a few videos on this, and today we're just going to take a little short look at the new versus the old. So on the 2nd of September, Xero have announced of 2024 that the classic inver uh, version of zero invoicing will be retiring so that's this here um so they released a blog um back at the end of january about why's behind it um so i'll link that in the description for you guys if you want to read it in full but we're just going to touch on a couple of these things today so this is the classic version. You guys might be used to using this or you've already switched over. So we're just going to switch over to new invoicing. It has got a little bit of a different look and a feel for those of you who um, are not using it. So I would suggest, I really suggest that um, if anybody is not using the new invoicing, they sort of get into the habit of using it um, just to get your head around it and get used to it before they sort of just cut us off completely come September. And that'll come around fast enough, believe you me. So here we are, new invoicing. One of the biggest features is the auto save. Yay, no more lost uh, invoices with what always seem to be 20 or 30 lines or um, a whole pile of information that you've inputted into the classic invoicing. You've shut down your browser, you've lost zero for whatever reason, uh, it's gone offline and it's just gone and you're busy swearing and cursing at the computer and at zero. So... Auto save, one of the big features. Um, so anything that you do uh, within the new invoicing realm, it will automatically save. Um, only if you've added a contact. So let's add a contact and automatically saving. Make a change to your invoice, make tomorrow's date, saving. Add a reference, uh, your purchase saving so brilliant love the saving feature um so here are some of the new features that will be arriving in the new invoicing when the classic is retired uh, attach files from the zero library this is a big one because at the moment under the classic invoicing you can add files from your classic library which you have forwarded there at the moment you can't do that in the new invoicing you can attach them locally from your computer so I'll show you so if you want to add attach a file you just have the option to upload versus add from the library so at the moment if you go here and you go into your files or we'll open this in the new tab um, I haven't sent anything to here at the moment so if you sent a file using your email address over here you actually have to download it and then drag it over and attach it or attach it from your local space on your computer so that's a bit of a bummer um, hopefully Xero will change that back to the being able to use the files uh, option here um soon so it's just a it's just a bit less time consuming for you guys a bit less click through it's a lot more pretty you can add multiple lines so uh so we'll just put consulting one uh a hundred dollars and we'll put um off 
Site Consulting uh, 1150. So if you've got multiple lines, so you're going to say have a um, freight charge, for example, and one at 20 bucks. Right. So to move things around, it's a lot more, that interface is a lot more user friendly. So as an example, I have a client who moves freight and they have a fuel levy and it's always the last line on an invoice. So when there are multiple lines, you know, sometimes they can have 10, 20 um, or just three lines and the a new line will be added down here. So you've added a new line down here and all of a sudden your bottom line that you want to be there is sitting in the middle. This is a lot more easier to navigate than the classic version. Um, it's just a lot less cumbersome, so that's a really nice feature. So, enough about the new rollout. This was just a quick video today about the fact that the classic invoice is definitely going to be retiring come September. So please, please, please hop on to the new invoicing um, interface and give it a go. Let me know in the comments how you guys find it, whether you love it or hate it. Um, I'm afraid you're going to have to grow to love it because Zero have had the two options for quite a while. Um, and we've been clinging to our classic invoicing, um, but now is the time to change.